Some scientists now believe that the heart and the brain are entangled in a lifelong relationship that can be self-destructive. I'm very upset that you have to accuse me of stealing this purse. The security guard just seemed to jump to the conclusion without giving me any chance to explain myself. At University College in London, experiments by renowned psychobiologist Professor Andrew Steptoe have been designed to test whether the heart-brain relationship can be a harmful one. The research that we do is trying to relate people's feelings and people's experiences with heart disease. And we try and do this by understanding the biological processes which link our emotions and the things we think about with the heart. I've never been accused of anything in my life. I've never been arrested for any crimes or even had a parking ticket. Here the participant has been asked to think about how they would respond to an accusation of shoplifting. Many people find this sort of task quite stressful. What we've been doing in this study is to measure blood pressure, heart rate, which is the rate at which the heart pumps, but also by drawing blood and measuring substances in the blood which include stress hormones, first of all. They include adrenaline and cortisol, both of which tend to increase when people are faced with challenging problems or different types of stressful event. The blood is also tested for chemicals that indicate a raised level of inflammation or blood clotting. Blood clotting is a very important process and biologically we know from evolution that one of the important things if we were running away from a saber-toothed tiger, if we have a wound, we want that to be healed as quickly as possible and so a rapid blood clotting response is a very good thing. I feel that I have been wrongly accused and this has upset me greatly. And These blood tests, taken during the onset of negative emotions, are identifying the presence of mechanisms that are also well known to cause heart disease. The fundamental problem in coronary heart disease is the development of a process called atherosclerosis in the coronary arteries. This is a thickening of the walls of those vessels which takes place over long term in people's lives. Clotting processes and inflammatory processes and the stress hormones all influence the rate at which that atherosclerosis, that underlying disease, develops. Steptoe's breakthrough has been to show that over time, even small amounts of negative emotions from the brain can cause the slow buildup of artery-clogging cardiovascular disease in our hearts.